just a heads up, this episode has uh, spoilers for the movie Hereditary. Uh, we spoil pretty much the first act of that movie. So if you haven't seen it yet or you're going to see it soon, uh, you may want to skip maybe the first 30 minutes of this episode. Enjoy. Your cell phones sound like a million people, or we are definitely afraid of the dark. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Hey, we everybody, did it. we did it. We're here again. Just a public service announcement for these live shows. These microphones go into this computer. They are not con- connected to the to the PA. It will seem like an optical illusion, but just roll with it. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't afford whatever magical piece of equipment projects this audio. It's probably out of a the really theater. big cable. But also, it's hard for us because I want to talk louder because we're on a stage. Oh, okay. right. But then we're also talking just, into a microphone. But then when we go back and listen to this later, it's just a screen going into the microphone. Um, hey everybody, <laughs> we are, we are definitely afraid of the dark. We're the scary movie podcast for people who are scared of everything. Um, I'm a big scary baby. My name's Steven Smith. I'm Emma. Are we saying last names now? Do we, do we oh always my God. do <laughs> Uh, I think we've always said last names. I've never said my last name on this podcast before, but I will. I'm Emma Holder. Oh, my uh, God. My social security Seven number. Days. <laughs> um, I'm scared of more things and things. more scared. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Kyle Adam Romero, and I'm a big, brave boy. You can find me at my address, which is... No, I'm not going to do that. Five, five, five. <laughs> Pencil five, 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 five. five. Twelve, I live in a phone. <laughs> Um, so the the general premise is we wait until it's um, the dead of night to watch and then talk about a movie, uh, a scared mo- a scary movie, a scared movie, guys. Uh, yes, a scary it's movie. It's late. We're tired. <laughs> uh, Emma and I are obviously very scared of these things. Uh, Kyle is our horror sherpa, That's so right. he he's a sort of like balancing effect. He keeps us in check, and mock keeps us you grounded. R- um, throughout the film. Uh, we watched The Ring tonight. We, we watched did. it at Kyle's new. Apartment. My new apartment. <laughs> Bachelor pad. Please, Bachelor please pad. clap. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys applauding Bachelor, pl- Bachelor pad or please clap? Uh, oh, you're both. desperate. <laughs> desperate to <attempt> do for recognition. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we watched The Ring, uh, which still, as I say that out loud, I cannot believe we actually did it. It does feel crazy. Uh, it's a very well, scary no. it movie. It wasn't that bad. We'll get into okay. it. Okay. Uh, I, I, I wasn't, can't wait to get into it. I know, it. I know. It's but, wild. Um, I wasn't scared. Uh, just to sort of... Uh, wow. Th- I mean, this is hubris, because... Uh, I was not paying attention, but I also <laughs> was not yeah, scared. You will be out of did not watch the movie. <laughs> I got the gist. <laughs> <laughs> Emma has a, a number of coping mechanisms. One is always reads the Wikipedia page before we fire up that movie. Always I did notice. it this time. Okay, I see you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't read the All Wikipedia. Right. All right. So uh, this also is, tries yeah. to. Uh, would prefer we record the podcast at, at your place. Daytime. Since, uh, daytime at your place because it's a safe. She sanctum, knows the exits. Well, I just have my dog there. So oh, okay. that's what it really you is. You probably so bring you him dog. Yeah. yeah. I, we'll try it. We'll try it. He doesn't. He's not doesn't the nicest well. to dogs. I mean, no cats. other dogs. Cats. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, dogs are. We known digress. For that. Let's get that sweet guest out yeah. here. Yeah. We, we yeah. Not do this alone. alone. Yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Emma, introduce our guest. <gasps> we have my friend and yours, uh, insane, talented improviser, sketch comedian, <laughs> stand up. Not insanely friend. talented. <laughs> I said it right. Insane, comma talented. <laughs> Guys, it's late and I've had two ciders. Um, Katie Stone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. I didn't get to add my yeah. final credit though for you, which is a uh, talented uh, Photoshopper. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm going to hold my microphone. Closer to my mouth than you guys. Is that a just fear? We can. We no, can. you're good. Hello, yeah. audience. <laughs> I, now you're just fucking with I me promise you. Because I don't know to fix that in post. Uh, Katie, let us know what your sort of relationship with scary things is. 
like, because I feel like we could have talked about this in the last four hours that we spent together, but we did. We did a really good job not talking. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, my uh, my fear of scary movies started with The Ring when uh-huh. I was 13 years old when I watched it in theaters for the first time, and then I had a I'm a very scaredy cat, and then recently I think because I've done more films i've been uh, on film uh, uh-huh. i i've Ooh. told you guys my coping mechanism is imagining how everything was made while i'm watching it and so i saw hereditary and i was like nothing about this is scary to me at all i mean no, i i openly wept throughout the <laughs> film because family's grieving is upsetting but nothing like i was not sca- scared what yeah we gotta pump the you come into yeah. our house and talk <laughs> yeah this is crazy. what the fuck are you talking about well, hereditary just, is so terrifying hokey. I'm gonna We're getting strangle a lot of myself. Well, maybe, We're getting a lot of unsupportive nods in agreement with Katie from the audience. Maybe instead of watching it, you should have had Kyle and Steven explain it to you. Because <laughs> it was very scary. <laughs> if, you, if you listen to the podcast, this is our last episode where we're like, uh, she's never Will we? Go. Won't we? Uh, we won't. We, no, we won't Because basically it. it's like, the idea was like, we're going to go to the movie because she doesn't want to go to the movie. Understandable. Uh, it was very scary. And then we're going to tell her beat for beat <laughs> what happened in a two and, and a half hour movie. Did. And it's just Kyle and I Shouting at her for, for an hour and a half. Emma, like, Emma, and and then the lady did the thing. Yeah, it's just that it's awful. it's a lot. It's so a lot. Yeah, creepy yeah, yeah. little kids freak me out, but that fucking kid died immediately. Oh, oh, spoiler! Oh, spoiler! Oh, who uh, has we, shown we have to who has add a spoiler to the beginning of this. We'll now. add a spoiler alert. Yeah. We always say that. Have you guys seen Hereditary? <laughs> Will you see Hereditary? Did Not you look with scary movies? Did you want to? I didn't ruin it because it happens. Early in it the movie, it's like such Time a tonal no. twist. This that is, is not a thing. The rule of People always say this. You're like, it happens in the first ten minutes of the movie. It's not a spoiler. It's literally in the movie. It's a plot point in the movie. That's true. Yeah. And in the trailer, they definitely yeah, make it. They, they make it seem yeah, like she's the lead. She's, she's the. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Just I've well, seen it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I won't see it. So I'm fine. So just, just a short list then of things that Katie's not afraid of. Just uh, hereditary as it turns but he's out. It's got like a such a it's like a cornucopia of fucked up it's stuff in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean it's like demonology. So and that stuff honestly, I was so happy it. when the demon shit started. Because I was like, I've just been watching this family. It's sad white people grieve. for an hour. <laughs> so, yeah. They're like, what are we gonna do? Our child's well, gone. This house we live in is beautiful. Beautiful. It's like they can go buy another child. They're rich. <laughs> we all know well, how money works. That's, that's privilege also, in action. Well, actually, that comes up in the ring. Oh. Wait, buy it. Oh. <laughs> or was I paying attention right? Uh, Didn't they no. buy her? I think. She's not their real un- kid. That was unclear to me. We I can said, get to that. I said, ooh. Uh, and then I thought for literally and you're like, what a is half she a second about? more about what you were talking about. Uh, you're talking out of your ass, pal. That doesn't happen in the movie <laughs> at all. She's their biological That's child? That's not their bio daughter, though. Yeah, they bought her. Oh, my God. We are <laughs> So we're at our first fight. Fuck yes. <laughs> this early in the episode. Uh, yeah, they bought that kid. They she bought the kid? Miss Carrie, Miss Carrie, Miss Carrie. I mean, Carrie, adopted, but... Yeah, that's, that's an entirely uh, different thing. No, it's not. No, it's not, You man. pay adoption fees. That's <laughs> buying a child. Guys. <laughs> that is late stage. I'm not saying it's unethical, of- but it's... <laughs> it's yeah. Okay, wait. Sh- well, do you for, guys- two things. Okay, First of all, thank you for clarifying that adoption is not <laughs> unethical. Uh, very is, glad that we all have are, your permission well, to do that. Uh, uh, qu- quick... Quick hypothetical question. Emma okay. is our resident empath. She she feels <laughs> deeper than anyone I who's do. had on the show or anybody who's in the room. Um, can an adopted mother truly love their adopted child? <laughs> this is not a trick question. You should have answered it immediately. Oh, no. you know, I, that's why I'm I'm pausing it. How obvious it should be. Of course. Before you respect. answer this question, because um, I love my adopted son, dog, <laughs> very much. Before you answer this question, uh, mom, stepmom, both of whom are adopted, please stop listening to the podcast <laughs> right now. Emma's about to say something very no, offensive. No, I just said that, of course, adopted children are loved as much as uh, not adopted children. Wait, but also, your dad married two adopted women? Yeah, what's going oh, on, Pops? He's got a thing. What's going on, Pops? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to know your medical history. <laughs> I love a woman that feels like she'll never truly be loved. <laughs> <laughs> also, we are putting a spoiler alert on this episode for anybody who's adopted and anybody who hasn't seen Hereditary. And there's like a Venn diagram of Spoiler alert for anybody who doesn't want to know my family's history. 
Uh, save that for later. Um, so you guys it, oh. summarize the plot of these films. Yeah. We, I mean, we, you know, we do. No. We I mean, usually do. I mean, real A talk little. though, just between you and friends, it is dull. <laughs> when you you're like, not. And you then just watch the movie happened. or yeah. read the Wikipedia. So, a quick recap. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, here's, the, here's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I like, the reason we do it. You tell us the ring. We have we have feedback from other cowards like these two, mm-hmm. uh, who uh, who who don't like watching the movies, and they they like when we dryly explain the plot to them. They we've been told. Um, so well, this is this phenomenon where we like initially had a conversation about this, and I was like, "Oh, you do that? I do that," which is like. An interest in this sort of like zeitgeisty movie of the moment, but just I'm never going to go see it. I'm never going to go see it in the theater. And so we'll read thoughts on Wikipedia or we'll just have friends tell us what happens. So it can sort of be that. But like, I mean, you're going to read a web page and like, why listen to an hour? We'll make it it more fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we can explain the ring. We're having a real come to Jesus moment here, right? I could do it in, uh, in uh, under Ooh. a minute. Okay, let's, let's see. do let's, it. Yeah. You do under a minute. I you will. do under 30 seconds. Wait, I do hold 15 on. Seconds. We'll do an improv game. <laughs> <laughs> and you do eight seconds. Wait, what? Are you are you timing me? Uh, We're yeah. doing Half-Life, but yeah. explaining three. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, 60 seconds. Okay. On the clock. Plot gonna, in 60 seconds. Gonna turn, oh, you're gone, you're going. Okay, oh, at the beginning, we find watching. out that there's an <laughs> urban myth that if you watch this film, uh, you will die in seven days. Then immediately we find out this girl who's hearing about this random did watch the film she dies Naomi Watts comes in she's this girl's cousin she's an investigative journalist she's like oh man oh no I watched the film I have to solve this and then her kid finds it and he watches it and then her boyfriend finds it and he watches it and I'm pretty sure the babysitter watches it although we've (laughs) never come back to that so she has to go and find the origin of the film so she goes out to this fancy horse farm because she goes through all the clues and she figures out it happens at this fancy horse farm and she is uh, she finds out that it's this crazy lady and this crazy lady's daughter and the daughter drove her crazy and then the lady buried her in a well and then the girl's trying to get out of the well and that's where the video comes from and then her dad kills himself in a bathtub oh I have more seconds oh yeah and then at the end it turns out that it's a chain email and that she just has (laughs) I mean wow that was really good yeah that's really impressive I don't instead of just doing it again how about we get to add whatever so like, so you have thirty scene. seconds to add whatever you want. <laughs> We're playing Half Life. What, what if we use that classic Wait, comedy like rule of fours and we do <laughs> we do a bit four times? If there's anything you think we missed, you get thirty seconds. Okay, so he's got thirty seconds mm-hmm. to fill in the cracks. Yeah, I mean, Katie, <laughs> she left did a, a great lot of job. stuff on the table, and so that's all I gotta say. <laughs> All right. All right, go do it. Give me a timer. Okay, uh, so I think it's really important to emphasize that these are horse people. Uh, <laughs> severely emotionally damaged because we, of that. We watch, sorry to bother you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, the little kid that's in it has just like the weirdest eyes. It's very unsettling. And uh, he looks like a Culkin. Samara, uh, you think the whole movie is about her? Like we have to spread her message. She's uh, innocent and she was murdered, but no, it turns out she was evil the whole time. Thirty seconds, impressive. It's not impressive. <laughs> what I just oh, did no, is I'm not sorry, impressive. Call, no, 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 impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, that was really impressive. <laughs> Are you doing something now? I'm confused. Yeah, I have 15 seconds to add whatever I want to add. Okay, this is right, good go. stuff. This is really good stuff, guys. guys I'm glad this I suggested podcast this. podcast needs more structure. A version of this. Uh, <laughs> see us after the show. We'll refund you your ticket, go. <laughs> ticket money. Let's go. I want to add that Brian Cox was the ghost's dad. And I love him. <laughs> and everyone should watch Succession. I have eight. I have five seconds left. So I'm going to talk. There are horses. There are horses in this movie. How uh, did you feel about the a horse sad death? fairy moment? Uh, okay, so cool. hold on a second. Cool, cool, cool. Did you set up this whole <laughs> so I can bit talk about Succession? So you can plug Succession. <laughs> I need a everyone movie to watch it. You don't work on a, a show. A you don't show work on yet. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is your attempt to get hired yeah, on Yeah, they're going to be like, that girl loves it so much, we should hire her. She did the shittiest bit on her <laughs> podcast. Hey, is this my, hey, Brian, is this my co- moment if I want a free Casper mattress or article so far? Yeah, go yeah. for it. Um, article.com for all of your mid-century modern furniture needs. I'd be able to tell you the perks if you would send me maybe a burgundy couch. <laughs> I'd like a velour finish. 
of the lore. I'm the thing. guest. No, that, yeah, that's <laughs> I will good. never be able the to. The guest always. No, does if the... we get that couch, it's going to you. Uh, hey, shut the fuck up. No, I, that it was Katie's you idea. You have she gets a nice it. couch. I you can wish for anything you want too. Couch. What do you want to wish for now? Emma's really putting me on the spot tonight with 30 seconds to name absent plot from the movie. Uh, I just want, you know what? I'm on this thing, throw pillows. <laughs> I used to have none. I'm ready for more. Bring it on. I've got four total now. Plus I'm your cat. Ready to, uh, plus my cat. Uh, I'm ready to double that. I'm ready uh, for eight just, throw pillows. Just uh, <laughs> one player to another. You can't have too many throw, throw pillows. <laughs> I am drowning in them. <laughs> Guys, well, I, I love embroidery. I, get, <laughs> I, I, love more, embroidery. I need more, more for the bed. I don't have throw uh, pillows okay. for the bed. Yeah, but then you got that thing Can every I, night where it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have to clean them off the bed. No. That True. seems yeah, like <laughs> setting yourself up for like a terrible Sisyphean, Sisyphean. Ta- <laughs> yep. task. Yeah. Hey, are you guys enjoying our horror movie podcast? <laughs> How are you enjoying the horror movie uh, podcast? Can we get a show of hands or a round of applause of who has seen Let's do a round of applause because this ring. is an, an audio <laughs> That's medium. true. Oh, so we got all what? 90 audience oh, members no. yeah. have seen it. The whole um, uh, of this we're at Staples Center where we're doing this podcast. Recording. We'll like put a lot of reverb on that. <laughs> and post. They'll be like, whoa, shit. Ah. Everyone will pull those cans off their ears. Yeah. Um, like scary movies or not? You do, but you've never. This one feels like it's kind of a classic. Just missed just that. Missed just it. missed that one. All right. Well, you're uh, fine. Yeah, you know, catch it on VOD or something like that soon. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I think it's very good. L- let me set the stage. We were all. You saw it when you were 13. It is a PG-13 movie, which seems crazy because everybody remembers it as being much worse than I think it actually is. Yeah, I was. I was surprised when it. It opened with the rating and it's PG thirteen. Yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" Well, just because you're, I'm so not used to watching a horror movie that's not R. Yeah. Even though there's nothing about the movie necessarily that would be like, "Oh, this would really be enhanced with some blood or titties." <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was. It's it's shockingly pretty, like light on <laughs> graphic imagery of any kind. Just um, uh, imagining your film imprint that uh, this is like you just throw a little dash of that your, your secret sauce on every movie that comes across your table. <laughs> Have you thought about more blood? Yeah. And or titty. This Harry Potter kid seems like kind of a dork. Uh, you ever thought of adding some blood or titties into it? When did you see it? Tough guy. <laughs> uh, I saw it when I was probably like 15 or 16, uh, maybe somewhere around there in theaters. Yeah. Uh, like um, it and it it absolutely scared the shit out of me yeah it fucked me up it also fucked theater me experience. up bad yeah was this a uh, something that somebody told you about no oh. i never i i just like so i would have been in college when this came mm-hmm. out um and i just didn't really there were bigger things there was a war going on guys oh <laughs> boy this is it was, I was just now a we're getting Emma. of protest it's so funny because when i saw this in the theater i was just eating popcorn just loving it experiencing you know cinema and i could hear your voice in in the distance going this is what democracy looks like and i was like oh maybe i should be doing something more important with my time all right uh no i did like two protests my entire college experience oh. i'm just talking you about smoke any weed <laughs> and have sex? <laughs> <laughs> did I? Uh, I went to That's the number. Not an yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, I did. Mom, I hope you're listening. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Weird. You- I'm gonna go into detail, Mom. Get ready. <laughs> no, I just never saw it. Yeah. Because but- I don't like scary movies, so I would have had to seek it out. Yeah. We built this up a lot for you, though. I think that you yeah. were running kind of hot. I was nervous about in. seeing this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stephen, when when did you 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 had seen it before? I had seen it in the theater, and I rem- I distinctly remember it being very scary. Uh, and there was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of filler. Let's say like a lot of air yeah. in the middle of the movie. A uh, very scary, and then also having that sort of like pride of being able to like yeah, I saw I, I saw it. it in the theater. I'm like, all right, I, I got it outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, and now I feel. That's diminished somewhat because she's like, this wasn't scary at all. I'm like, ah, stop it. You're no, taking- I mean, to be fair, I, I think if I had watched it by myself. Yeah. Yeah. This is a it pretty been scary. I think this is a pretty classic example of like a horror movie that works super well in the movie theater yeah. because you can't look at your phone. I mean, you can, but you're a toilet person if you do. Uh, 
So like you're in an environment that encourages you to like pay attention to the movie. Yeah. Um, so you invest in it entirely. And because there's not a lot like I mean, there's there's terrifying imagery in it, but it, a lot of it doesn't really work if you're kind of like cracking wise the whole time. It does take a certain level of investment to like get there. Yeah. Uh, and so I guess in retrospect, it makes sense that you would not find it scary. And I think I also, I'm just not as scared about ghost stuff as like. Doesn't make any sense to me. Real life it's stuff. It's so confounding. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have like, I'm like, it's the scariest stuff. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it is, but real life stuff is scarier. I've always found uh, creepy little kids to be the most terrifying. It's like things that are unassuming. Because yeah. like you can protect yourself from murderers i i mean you can't actually but like you <laughs> tell that to the families of the victims <laughs> but, you know what i mean like be before you go to bed you can like go lock your yeah. door you can yeah. check your closet you can deadbolt you know i have deadbolts yeah. on everything but you can't protect yourself from one a, a tiny child. relative <laughs> <laughs> they're already inside the house. two a little girl climbing out of the television <laughs> I'm murdering you because you watched a YouTube video. And, and a little boy in a suit. Presumably oh. screaming at you and zooming into you really quickly, because I think that's how she kills. Yeah, she not kills clear. with jump scares. Yeah. That's the thing. There's no... This, it's very confusing, like the science of this ghost. <laughs> all right, break it down for us, Bill Nye. Well, first of all, she's a water ghost, but she moves through electricity. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I would like to redact my reference. Uh, break it down for us, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Because <laughs> this is absolutely something that fucking Pluto tie wearing motherfucker would do. Can you imagine you're a movie that wrong. we were just like showering, showering, and then hair just starts to spill out of it? Okay. Ah! <laughs> it would be way worse. Well, no, you're kind of right, though, because it is, in the end, it's yeah. like commentary on, on uh, technology, because it's right. like screens are going to kill us, and it is just bizarre. It is like it's at the time of forwarded like shitty chain emails yeah. and in the end she has to like copy the video and forward it to more people so that people. she won't die i yeah. feel like it's i feel like it's a commentary on our obsession with technology and it is originally japanese so maybe something's lost in translation i don't know mm -hmm. like maybe i don't want to be culturally insensitive but i do feel like maybe it's something that is more resonant and with the sort of original culture that originated this, the specter in question. But also, yeah, maybe. we were yeah. could be. We were talking. We don't about have water ghosts. <laughs> we don't have water ghosts in water, America. Water ghosts are not a popular thing in America. I mean, we're afraid of water. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, people drown. Sharks. Yeah, underwater sharks are big. Um, monst in monsters. Yeah, basically. piranhas. Creatures from your Par lagoons <laughs> yeah. of okay. various. But Emma's totally right, though, because they are wearing, like, 1800s that garb in the 80s, 80s for no reason. The horse family is very wealthy and therefore very Victorian. It's <laughs> yeah. straight. She's yeah, got, like, I'm a cinched to... waist and then a fucking peplum thing that goes out. I mean, like, it's weird. I'm ready to forgive the Victorian shit because even though it was, like, definitely mid-1980s and they should have been dressed yeah. in like a flock, with, like, a flock of seagulls. She should have had a crazy <laughs> like, shoulder and, like, a rolled-up thing and she been like, Samara, get yeah. that well. <laughs> uh, I want to forgive it because they're horse people. And just, like, whatever <laughs> insane behavior uh, they exhibit. Are I'm you like, trying to incite me? Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to make you mad. <laughs> um, no, I mean, really, I mean, they, it's like they live on... <laughs> They live on an island and they're horse people. You're <laughs> fucking oh, talking about my, my family God. now. You weren't scared of this movie because you've lived through it. Oh <laughs> my God, Emma is oh. Samara. <laughs> you've just got your hair. You um, demon. My mom does have a well on her property. Oh. <laughs> you guys, Emma grew up on an island. I didn't grow up on the island. Okay. My mom moved to an island when I was in college. <laughs> It's different. You were surrounded by I, horses. I did grow up with horses, yeah. Foals gambling. We wore uh, normal clothing. Yeah. Normal equestrian wear. Wait, is the well... Oh, wait a Victorian shame. <laughs> is the well in your childhood home or your no, mom's current home? No, she has a well at her current home. Okay. But it's not like a fun well, like, with stones. Like, it's, it's like... Back it up. Beep, beep. Beep. What? It's just like you don't see it. It's, it's just like one like, of those VR wells. It's that you just like <laughs> goggles. <on. laughs> no, it's just like the water comes from the property, but it's not. You can't see it. Is it a well or a pump? It's 
I mean, it's a, it's technically a well, but it's But like, there's no bucket and the little no, eaves? That, no. I know what you mean. This isn't As like a, a wishing well. Yeah, like... It's I, like how people get water in places where there isn't city water. We had, okay. yeah, we, no. we had okay. the redneck version of that. Like, it's like we lived in a trailer, and on our property we had a well... But it was really just a pump, like, is all it was. Okay. Yeah, but, I mean, that's the source of water, and, like, it's a well. No, I get it. Don't rural explain to me. I, I understand where the water source is going. I mean, that's, yeah, I've primed a pump. <laughs> These hands look soft, but they primed pumps. But, right. actually, the family farm where they filmed Pet Cemetery uh-huh. does have a real well. Y'all. Uh, Emma's life is peppered with insane, scary details like this. Where it's like, yeah, no big deal. This house was a backdrop for Pet Cemetery, a notoriously spooky movie. Or Pet Cemetery too. I don't know which. It's one. For, yeah, we don't know yet. But how are you not more? How are, oh, are you so terrified of all this stuff because of all these dramatic settings and stuff like that? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would. I think I'm just scared. Okay, fair enough. But uh, <laughs> but yes, like Fun having answer. to grow up in the woods of Maine sometimes was not like a good thing yeah. for my nerves. Katie, while we were watching this, were you scared because you also changed positions and seats roughly 17 times oh, during the course of the movie? I was very yeah. frightened. Okay, good. Uh, I started, or, well, because we were talking a lot. I think we were talking a lot near the beginning. So uh-huh. I was like, no big deal. No big deal. Yeah. We're eating. We got Papa. He no longer works there, so they're not racist. <laughs> <laughs> and we got we pizza. Did. We don't edit the podcast, but we will take that out. <laughs> and, I, I cannot and, have people knowing. In our defense, Katie a had good, a coupon. Good she coupon. had a coupon. Good coupon. So. I will never unfollow Papa. XLGPIZZA. Uh, <laughs> if you're listening at home and you want to get that sweet deal, it's an extra large pizza. It's <laughs> so much pizza. It's a lot. It's yeah, a big yeah. pizza. But we then, also got some knots to go with. <laughs> But as the film went on, I think we all became, except for Emma, became more invested in it. Uh-huh. And so we stopped talking, and then it got more scary. And then legit, because <laughs> there's like a part where you think it's over. Yes. Like they, they that cradle was tricky. the dead And I dead full spoiler, girl. spoilered it. I was like, guys, guys, but guys, we're... guys, wait. Guys. <laughs> but then, and then I realized like, y- you think the film's over, but the girl hasn't even crawled out of the TV yet. <laughs> Like that's the whole fucking Classic reason shit. you're watching yeah. the ring. Yeah. And so then you like you're like, oh thank goodness, they're all okay. And then like the main one of the main characters gets murdered by TV girl. And that was really upsetting. Um uh was it though? Who came who hated him? You hated him. Katie he I was hated hot. We all hated him. I think him, he I was think. hot. I came no, back around. Emma was team dead be dead. It was fine. No, I wasn't. I think he needed to get his shit together. But so like, we're talking about the uh, sort of the male lead of this film, the non Brian He's kind of boring. The broke ass Elias. He Codius. and Naomi Watts had sex, presumably eight ish years ago. I don't know how yeah, that kid they is. They have a kid, kid is. This who dude, has literally no relationship with his this father. This kid doesn't know it's his dad. Uh, we don't know <laughs> until so act weird. two that he's the dad. Also this guy calls stalks his mom that by kid. Her first name. Like, the so kid calls his mom Rachel. That's weird. On. This dude, at one point in time, is alone in a car with his father but this is also an absentee man i don't know it seems weird to leave him it's weird but so the kid is having a conversation (laughs) with his dad who is estranged and he's like yeah i've seen you before uh you're always standing across the street from my school (laughs) taking pictures of me and it's like kind of like a warm moment or that's what it's like supposed to be and we're like no time out uh no no hold the phone yeah Yeah, that's bad y'all stats didn't do that (laughs) Y'all didn't have men do that just randomly? (laughs) They were called our daddies. (laughs) (laughs) My point is, I think that guy deserves to die. But I hate it. He had it coming. Because early on in the film, this is what you know about this guy early on. First, uh, Naomi Watts, who is like God's gift to man. She is so fucking hot. Uh, And she... (laughs) She's very good. good. And so she goes to visit this guy. And he lives in this studio. It's one of those studios from TV that's just very a giant cool shocking you want house. To fuck there! It's so. <laughs> it's I got a lot of cool stuff. such amazing real estate. I'm like horny as a kid, like as a teenager. When I saw that, I was like, I'm horned up by this guy's like cool art space. It was. It's See, very much an artist. I would love. With I would love to live there, but yeah, any fuck those other. Pillows. 
Anyone who lives there the way he did is a man child. And then he opens his fucking bookshelf and it's, it's basically like, a treehouse. Yeah, he just lives in this Neverland bullshit place. <laughs> who doesn't want to live in a treehouse though? But then his girlfriend, who's clearly like ten years younger than Naomi Watts, shows up uh, and it's clearly played he's playing both of them. Polly Perret from <laughs> NCIS, the world's <laughs> oldest goth, Polly Perret. <laughs> Uh, she fucking sucks in this movie. She has very thin eyebrows. She has very, very thin and, eyebrows. And that was very popular at the yeah, time. True, true. I, uh, that's not her fault. Uh, our, our Naomi wasn't. <laughs> she had a very, <laughs> very full brows on Naomi. <laughs> okay, guys, we are all over Hashtag the map. Hashtag brow watch. <laughs> Folks, okay, just, let us know about your favorite horror movie brows. Get at us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I think that we were all probably, I mean, what do you think your level of engagement was? I won't out you. Out yourself. I One think five. I was more engaged than y'all thought I was. Like, even though I was working, I was paying attention-ish. I think, like, when the peak, scary, when the visuals were, like, I looked away for the gross stuff. I would, like, just give you a little one of these, and you were just engaged. You were yeah. working. No, so here's what here, here's what Emma was doing throughout the movie. Uh, every single actor that came on screen, <laughs> I was Emma doing was a like, lot of oh, IMDb. I know this person. They were in blank, uh, and so like there would be like a super tense moment in the movie, and uh, we would all be research. we would all be like quiet yeah. and invested in it, and Emma would be looking at her phone, going, "Oh, New Adventures of Old Christine." <laughs> Like, she's whispering out loud IMDb credits. Although I was kind of wrong about who most of them were. Yeah, none of them uh, were correct. I feel like there's so many uh, threads that never got tied up. Yeah. Because it was just like, because some pacing kind of moving around. I fully watched the movie through a pillow. It's a thing. Uh, <laughs> Kyle is resilient. And then you're uh, computing the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Computing. <laughs> I did. I did a lot of, I actually only got one hour of work done. Uh <laughs> But, but so you have during you that one hour and other minutes? hour of the movie. I am DPing. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, um, so let's talk about so I think there's this is also this is not a particularly gross movie. There I mean we it doesn't sort of like the hair part is so gross. That uh, is the grossest part to me. One? When they pull the string of hair out of her mouth, that is the grossest part. Is it hair tied to that? Weird it's tied to like a cardiogram. Yeah, yeah thing. cardiogram thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're so all it's scientists. like uh, I had to wear those um, on my head. When I, so I had, Emma? I had a seizure yeah, when home, I was a home, kid. <laughs> I had seizures when I Can was a kid. Can we lower the lights a little, uh, a little bit? And so oh. they did like every brain test ever on me. <laughs> um, and so I had to wear, they glued them onto my scalp with airplane glue. Like model airplanes? No. They told me, it, I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> So this is, yeah, 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 Emma, this is great. Hey, Stephen, can you, I... Anna uh, Gatsby, this is Nanette, too. <laughs> Steve, Stephen, can I talk to you in the hallway for a second? Uh, we're doing a podcast with fucking Samara. We need to go. No, um... um I, I couldn't sleep. I never slept. Um, <laughs> horses were going mad whenever they hung out with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you have a creepy... Because she has a creepy bedroom above the horses no. in the barn. I did... Okay, so... Emma, are you Samara? Are you literally so, Samara? When we Legally, you have to tell me if you're a Samara. <laughs> this is... <sighs> so... You're when, like a water when my mom, scary. When my parents bought the land on the island where my mom currently lives... What a <laughs> sentence! <laughs> <laughs> they built the barn before they built the house. For two summers, I lived in the loft of a park. No! <laughs> and I hated it so I much. I quit art. <laughs> oh, we're getting into it. I did. Well, we always have this, like, friendly rejoinder, yeah, which is like, fun. guys, don't talk about it after the movie. Save it for the podcast. But it's crazy to me that you I didn't make lived the in the barn loft. I didn't make the connection. <laughs> we're, we're, like... Okay, there's a lot of, like, recurring motifs of, like, just wooden ladders leaned up against it. And there's this big reveal that Samara, the evil demon girl, has been, like, put in a loft to sleep by herself with just a snowy television to go mad, essentially, and kill horses beneath her. And as we're getting to that point, everyone, 
the th- everyone who was watching the movie was like, this is fucked. This is scary. And I was like, oh, I remember this thing up there. It's really bad. They get up there. Everything is dusty and like old and kind of Victorian-y. But there's a TV there. And then there's a weird scorched wall that she she imprinted with her mind. Imprinted. We're all unsettled by it. You lived through it. <laughs> well, I mean, it felt very different. I did not make the connection until just now. <laughs> Oh my so god. This is How my... are we gonna talk about anything else <laughs> ever again? Wait, I do have sorry, I know that we're jumping around a lot, but yes. there's something I'm obsessively thinking about while we're talking about this film. Because it is yes. originally a Japanese film, yes. made American. Yes. Their names are things like Katie, Rachel, Rachel, no Morgan, <laughs> Samara. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just like, let's not change that one. Yeah. It's strange. It is a little odd. It's not it a, a name odd. I've ever heard before. <laughs> but they're You're like, they're, oh wait, no, it's coming people. to me. Horse As people. if through a dream. I was born a Samara. <laughs> and, then you, and then you stutter step out of the theater. <laughs> Emma's hair is spontaneously growing in front of us right now. It's just water. A water slick spreads across the stage. It would be a way less scary movie if they were like, and then the ghost Emma. (laughs) Oh, man, that's wild. That is so wild to me. Uh, (laughs) I'm I'm literally shook. Yeah, because, I'm absolutely shook. I'm also I kind of like, is else. this real life right now? Because yeah, it's like, late and I'm sweating locked. a lot. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's very You weird. keep peeling back the layers of it. It's every not time. so much specifically the barn loft. It's all the other things <laughs> that would lead one to think you yeah. are a Samara. Yeah. There's the well. There's Did the well. Did you have a Darby? That kid who was just on the... <laughs> on the... <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> so. can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> so tell me really quick. Yeah. You were a horse girl. Did any of your horses commit suicide? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why did you laugh I, like I, that? I, Why I, did you laugh knowingly? <laughs> I, I, guys, home audience, didn't. I've got my fucking foot cocked, ready to bolt out of this theater. Oh, my God. You know what I just realized, too? Emma. <laughs> set the fucking honey trap for this too. She's like, I'm so scared of it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Posting online, posting online. She's like, hey guys, when it's over tonight, let's have a sleepover because I'm going to be so scared. Oh! She's trying to kill us. Oh! Don't kill us. Do you guys want to watch my home movies from when I was a kid? You know, you know what else? <laughs> Normally when we pick a movie and Emma is like not into it, you will try to like talk us out of it in some way. No resistance. No resistance on this one. You're like my home movie is no boring. resistance. It's just nails, like uh, carpenter nails going through fingertips. <laughs> Giant centipede crawling out from underneath <laughs> tables. My horse mother horse brushing her side. hair. <laughs> extended amount of time. Um, that's crazy. I well, you know what? I only look forward to what titillating revelations you have when we watch. I don't know Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, I mentioned I'm a bondage demon. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have such sights to show you. She <laughs> shows up in the outfit. Just full. We're like, well, it looks great. So I guess rip my uh, nipples off the hooks or something like that. Steven. <laughs> I think it's in a movie. Uh, yeah, there's a lot There's guys, a lot of flesh ripping going on. If you on made me film. watch a nipple ripping movie, I would be out I'm, of there. No, I don't want to do that. We have a no torture porn rule. It's pretty hard and fast. Now, I, I, this is interesting. It. It's I, and true. I've been thinking just to sort of digress a little bit into a more general <laughs> horror discussion. Uh, I watched Hellraiser again recently because um, it's fuck. It rules. Um, and uh, thanks, audience. Who ever said all that. the men <laughs> spoke, <laughs> and that was all. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! I love Hellraiser, man. Uh, and so I was sitting there thinking. I'm a big fan of puzzles, me. So. I, <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I now watch every horror movie through the lens of like, oh, could we do this for the show? Yeah. Would Steven and Emma be able to handle this? Yes. And it, it's it. I would not classify it as a torture porn, although it does have like very very severe gore imagery in it. But it's not like yeah. it does not all exist for the purpose of like. It, it, in and of itself, you know right? that movie like, The Cell with Jennifer Lopez, uh-huh. and I think D'Onofrio might it's be a the, D'Onofrio. He like has he's like you know like I don't know like what do you call it when you have like piercings that are kind of carnival tricks? <laughs> what do you call that? Stigmata. 
Uh, sort of no, no. Well, <laughs> this guy's got just like rings in his back that kind of go through his it's skin, yucky. and he just hangs from his Ew, flesh. No, and then I think he I masturbates know. onto a dead body. Why do you? <laughs> anyway, it's a good uh, movie. Uh, it looks good. Anyway, my point yeah. is like that's too much for me. Just like pulling on things, <laughs> stuff like that. No, no, no. Pulling on yeah, things. Just, like, like when you're. Gotcha. If you can imagine what it would feel like, that freaks me out way more yeah. than like little girls crawling out of TVs. Oh, but yeah, especially sure. more than whatever Tony Collette decapitated. Well, all of our all of okay. ours all of our shit Spoiler. is like well trod and that's apocryphal. I heard what you just said, liar. <laughs> <laughs> like we all we all know kind of like what our weird oh, hard and fast limits to. are. So what are yours then? What you don't really our, watch scary movies? I don't really yeah. watch scary movies. I mean, honestly, I'm kind. I'm kind of a scaredy cat. Yeah. I don't. I anything where 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 you can like physically empathize with. Because I listen to well, I listen to murder podcasts like all the fucking time. Yeah. And the thing that really upsets me uh, is the murder. The murder. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, well, murder. I'm gonna go they into this because we've life. talked about this online. The one murder podcast that I could not fucking get through was the Toy Box Killer. Oh, um, yeah. don't know it. Which is. Okay, well, can I just quickly Let's summarize it for you? It. It's so fucked up. Ugh. It's this couple that would abduct women and then bring them into this warehouse and put them in a gynecological chair, and they would play an audio recording of all the things they were about to do to them. Like dictation. And then they would torture uh, them with, like, gynecological tools real? and then ultimately yeah, kill them. Yeah, this is real. This yeah, and a lot of women the toy box is not a fun. The toy box is, is the badge. room that they're yeah. in. Yeah, and I think it's also the gynecological <laughs> like, tools. So the toy box is the vagina. Okay. <laughs> so that, that shit when you're like, oh, I can imagine myself strapped to a chair with somebody torturing my pussy. Like, that's where I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> okay. I think we can all agree that pussy torture is... <laughs> Right out I of would, here. If that was on a film, I would be like, fuck no. Oh, I watched Silence of the Lambs, not scared at all. I actually well, wouldn't even qualify that as a horror movie. Yeah, there's, it's yeah, a we've had a whole yeah. conversation. Mm. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, we're but, real uh, taxonomy pedants. That moment pedants. in <laughs> Seven, when he kills the girl by like putting yeah. a knife on his dick, the knife and then <laughs> fucking her with it, yeah. That, I saw it like 12 or 13, and I was like... <laughs> the thing that's wild about that, it falls into the pussy torture... <laughs> Uh, category um, because uh, because it is so evocative and horrifying and you only hear it described and then you see a quick evidence photo of like the implement but that stuck and you with don't me need to know you don't even need to know that years. yeah totally it's the worst one yeah it's the yeah, worst one for sure uh, this is we a settled great it. combo <laughs> uh, I love this because their horror has so many subgenres that there probably is yep. some like uh, oh yes the Italian pussy torture uh <laughs> Uh, of the 1960s, yeah. you know. Oh, Sergio Palermo. His films are, yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. they were at Berlin Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. said, also, anytime someone's like, and they found her nipples were sliced off, I'm like, get no. the fuck out! <laughs> no! Because also, like, that's something people keep as trophies a lot. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Can you imagine you're on a date and you open the nightstand to get condoms out and it's just, just full a bunch of nipples? Of nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those are uh, that's my uh, old pepperoni collection. <laughs> those are actually condoms if you try real hard. <laughs> well, Ed, so Ed Ed Gein famously made a belt Mine hunter. Out, of nipples. out of nipples. What he had that was his one of his things. It's so many nipples. It's a lot of yeah. How many takes, people did he, he was, kill? Well, well, he was like kind of gaunt. Guy, did it have so. anything else? <laughs> Was were the, yeah the <laughs> slimmest, just the most covetable slim were, waist. You, were, yeah, were yeah. the nips he was uh, svel- spread out, or was it, it was were they it just was decorative? Like, or um, gosh, how to describe it? Have you seen a picture? I like the idea that Ed Gein gets to. This his, is terrible. We prison. need to stop talking about it. <laughs> Ed Gein gets to prison, and his his celly is like. And I got a real character. My new uh, cellmate's a real character. Uh, who is he? Uh, Ed Gein? Never heard of him. Slim, uh, slim hips. <laughs> I know just who you're talking okay. about. I'm now Always chewing doing, on a nipple. Full on doing the math of like, okay, if he has a 28 inch waist and there's two nipples per, per woman and they were an inch and a half, it would be around 10 women. Okay. Or, or men. Audience, men prove us wrong. Uh, get at us on I, Twitter. I, had to <laughs> s- I literally Hashtag. had to stop myself just now because the words that were going to come out of my mouth were almost, that seems doable. 
And I'm like, maybe I need to go to a mental institution. <laughs> well, also, like, You're a not belt wrong. is such a sort of, like, high friction, like, high tension uh, tool. Like, why not just a nice uh, beaded necklace or, you know? And I, oh, I think he take had those pearls of those off, too. put on those nipples. If I slaughtered everyone in this room <laughs> right now, I could have a nipple belt Lock in my waist. And I'm Samara? Yeah, you're still okay. Samara. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, so uh, in this, let, we can maybe start voting. Back to this PG-13 this movie. Week. Yeah, we should vote. Uh, well, first of all, which way would you prefer to die? Uh, given oh, the sort yeah. of like panoply of options that would are you what rather? happens in this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, drown in a well. You can drown in a well. You can get screamed to death. Either in a closet or in an Eames chair. <laughs> I think or you can put all of your electronics in the tub like Gotta go with my man future Cox. Emmy winner Brian Cox. Are you predicting an Emmy win for him for succession? I hope so. Um, I'd, was um, he nominated? So this is, no. no, they haven't nominated, they haven't nominated, anyone, nominated yet. anyone yet. She's Emma doing like a weird project. She's Dan using thing. her Samara psychic powers <laughs> to look at the future and tell us that Brian Cox is going to win an Emmy. Uh, this is sort of a severely underrated part of the movie is the way that Brian Cox goes out in this movie, I That's, feel like. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's like everybody always remembers her crawling out of the TV, uh-huh. but him like walking around the house with a search protector wrapped around him and just like dangling. wires stuck in just, the... Yeah, wires and yeah. shit. And then he goes in the bathroom and like... 17 TVs. 17 <laughs> TVs, a so bunch of TVs. old radios. And he just hops he in the tub. He is not messing around. Flip set switch. And goo, 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 he's done. It's great. It's you good shit. You know what? Shit. And, and respectable. Like, it was a real cool way to go out. Why is he hitting Emma Watson in the head with exactly. a surge protector before he he's does it? He's got some issues. He's angry. Yeah. Okay. But he didn't even, he, he just, like, whacked her across the head and was like, all right, see you later. She yeah. just, like, didn't, she just kept yelling at him. Yeah. And he's like, all right, I guess that didn't work. All right. I think um, I want to die. If I had to choose how to <laughs> die, <laughs> I want to die the guy who just, like, went to that terrifying cottage with his other horny teenage friends, has sex with Amber Tamblyn, and then just jumps off a balcony. Yeah, I was going to say. We never see it. It's just a newspaper clipping. But it's yeah. like, you know, you can have a little sex, a little teenage sex in a haunted cabin, and then you throw yourself over a bridge. I was going to I was gonna say that one, and then I remembered there's even a more romantic suicide by jumping, and it's when the woman flings herself off the cliff into the ocean. Yeah, Samara. that would be yeah, the, mom, mom. the mom. Yeah, yeah. I would, and then I'd be in, immortalized in the video. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You're famous. Who filmed that? We never find out, huh? No, I think it's, it's just no. Created. She's, she's created projecting it. psychic images onto VHS tapes. That science does not check out <gasps> oh, either. The film you know, stuff the makes way that water does. sense now because yeah. when she's in the negatives. therapy stuff, she's made negatives with her mom. Yeah. Yep, 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 I yep, get yep, it yep. now. Nobody like actually took a picture of like a doll that had been buried and and stuck with syringes and stuff like that's just our girl Samara <laughs> turn that shit up. <laughs> uh, how do you want to die? I mean, in life or um, <laughs> in the way this movie. In the ring. Oh God, they're all terrible. Um, you can go out like one of those horses and just I, jump no, into the No, I don't want to get chopped up by a. Very motor. <laughs> um, I guess I'll I'll, I'll be uh, the guy because like he has a sweet ass apartment and like a loft boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to get murdered by Samara like straight up climbing on the TV? The scariest one. Yeah, it's scary, but I want to know what she does. Like I'm a little curious. You're uh, sticking to your science theme. Uh, yeah, I'm for the good very of, scientifically minded. Do, do it for the culture, as the kids You're like would one say. of those magicians who like disproves charlatans and stuff <laughs> like that. You're like, uh, as a former horse girl who lived on an island, I'm gonna <laughs> prove this bitch wrong. I'm gonna find out. What. We'd have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no you guys, shit. You guys are just braiding each other's gross <laughs> wet hair. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's the grossest hair moment, by the way. I know this coming out of the throat and then the cr- over the shoulder, rah, rah, like wrenching it out of the throat is very gross. But I think pound for pound, the grossest hair moment is lifting corpse Samara out of the bottom of the well oh, yeah. and her hands just matted Covered in loose hair. Yeah. yeah, Hair is gross. Hair's bad. How many wigs do you think they had to have for this filming? I think Lots it was just I think it was just the actress's natural hair oh. the whole time. Yeah, again, yeah classic probably, Kyle probably. lack of wig dar. I was like, wigs? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> the wigs in this movie? All right, let's rate this movie. Yeah. Uh somebody explain to Katie our uh Byzantine. I got system. it. I got it. So 
two different ratings. Did you like it? Yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Very simple. Then we give a scariness rating. One through five, one being the least scary, five being the most scary. Uh, and we have a rating. The, the metric that you use is specific to the film. So, for example, in The Ring, it's how many of a thing you would need in order to relax. So I would need uh, to make five copies of the tape before I was relaxed enough to enjoy the movie. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. I know. It's a lot. Uh, what is your actual ra- go? Do your. So you would just think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I would say thumbs up. I love it. Tight, tight, Total tight. classic. Um, and then the scariness rating, I would give it. <sighs> guys, I think I'm going to go four on this one. I think yeah. you're gonna go four on this one. This is not about this experience specifically. Yeah. Um. Uh. Because again, like, I feel like it's much more effective if you're watching it alone. Yeah. Or watching it in a movie theater, some environment where you're like committed to watching it. Um. Without a bunch of your fucking knucklehead friends. <laughs> it's um, the least receptive way to watch a movie. Yeah, it's yeah, the absolute worst. worst. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it is It is absolutely terrifying if you allow yourself to go there. Yeah. Uh, it's very unsettling. All the imagery is like the fucking... And it combines like scary, just like purely scary imagery and ideas along with just like difficult to watch like the nail through the fingernail thing yeah. like just like little shit like that that is like basically torture porn you're just like ah oh, this is awful uh-huh. um it's got that in there it's got all that stuff yeah four katie okay i'm gonna give it i'll give it a like half-hearted thumbs up sure um <laughs> i chose it so fuck me uh <laughs> i will give it a five out of five on scary here's why i've never been more scared of a movie <laughs> <laughs> Especially not a second time. I knew yeah. roughly so what was going to happen. You, you're as well, no, kinda... I'm not as scared. I think I'll be able to sleep tonight. Yeah. Uh, I did not sleep for like two fucking weeks when I was 13 <laughs> and I watched this. I'm not kidding. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's you're tense the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a fun uh, ride. Well, it is, but I mean, it's like, and, and I think it's scary that the in the end the TV is the bad guy. So you are going to bed with the bad guy in your house yeah. after you stop watching. Yeah, everyone's yeah. laughing like mother. That may I sleep with terrifying. danger? <laughs> it's the TV. It was the TV. The, the TV time. the whole time. Yeah. Um. Do you want to do it? Thumbs down. What? I, what? I was bored. I don't know. I'm, I didn't like it. Uh, I quit. Okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, no, I didn't really like. I get it. <laughs> I get it, but I didn't like. I, I don't know. Okay. I don't Scariness like it. rating. Um, I would give it a th- three point five. Okay. Uh, hold because on a I second. I recognize that it's scary, but it was not scary no, to me because I, mean, like, I wasn't paying attention. Quality of experience versus scary zero to five is not a thing. For her, so like, yeah, like I never saw it for real. Doesn't necessarily, right? right I'm right, sure right. qualify as a kid or a teenager would have terrified me, but mm-hmm. watching it the way I watched it, they keep uh, qualifying it. I, well, but I am. I'm not as scared of ghost stuff. Yeah. Um, or kids, because I've worked with kids for so long. Like that is reason enough to be more scared. Yeah, because you've looked into their yeah, cold but dead like eyes. they don't dead scare ass me. Fish shark eyes. Yeah. Um, they're like sociopaths because they haven't like been civilized. Yeah, they're yet, all so they're sociopaths. Just, like, hit, like hit, 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 I do whatever I want. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Oh, okay. Um, I was I was gonna go the other oh. way. <laughs> but, <all right. laughs> no, I guess I just I'm not scared of kids. Uh, like I'm more scared of things that could happen in real life. Unlike kids, which are no, like made up a, a evil devil children, kids, yeah. like ghost well well ghosts, I'm not as scared of. Yeah. So Fair I enough. literally said earlier tonight, uh, I don't believe in ghosts. Ghosts aren't real. I challenge them to present themselves in front of me uh, and prove me wrong. Uh, and, Did you say that and, into a mirror? No, I said it in my apartment, just out loud. And he said it th- two hours ago. We were all, all there. Th- all three of you. Yeah. yeah. I'm all there. Th- all yeah. three of you were like, <laughs> Kyle, don't do that. And now you're sitting here in front of God and everyone. <laughs> that was not funny. Uh, the lights just went the out. The lights just uh, went out. Our uh, tech 
was I, I, I got okay. It. Fine. I, I guess I am a little scared. <laughs> yeah, that scared that scared me. Uh, but no, I mean the movie itself didn't. Like, I don't think I'm, I'll, I'll probably be a little scared tonight, but, like, I'm not going to have the trouble I had after Scream, which I understand is wild. 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 I understand that that's wild, but, like, or Silence of the Lambs, like, those are very realistic movies. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not scared of children. All right. Okay. 3.5. Uh, we got to write these all down. I'm just, I, my head's swimming. Anyway, uh, I say thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, it's great. It feels like it's an all-time classic. Like I said, I saw it and have always kind of had like a weird soft spot for it. Two things. Four. One to five. Four. I'm going to give it four. Um, yeah, we forgot scary to give things. Points. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are the things, though? I don't know, man. Like, it's not a lot of, not a lot of, a lot of like, good stuff in this movie. Like, uh, four walks in the rain in uh, rainy <laughs> Seattle, I guess. Uy. Uh, I think two two things though that stand out of this like that make me like it a lot and scare me. So like we think Act Three is over with. They did the classic movie ghost thing, which is like the ghost is angry and is lashing out because it has unfinished business on this astral plane. We help it finish its shit. It fucks off, and and then oh it's okay right everything's gonna be fine. We outwitted the ghost. No. So Naomi Watts is laying down with her son and is like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's nighttime. Maybe it's daytime. I don't know. <laughs> and the kid is like, um, well, so then is she still in the dark place? Is she still stuck in the well? And she's like, no, we set her free. And this kid, this creepy kid sits bolt upright. And is like, why'd you do that? Why'd you help her? And it's this like great fucking twist. And then it's just 20 minutes of people dying in yeah. scary ways. Totally unexpected twist. You think the movie is over? It's not. And then I am fucked up by things that just come for you. That like, there's no... There's no safe haven. There's no place yeah. that you can hide. You can't go in, into space because you'll probably pop out of some fucking NASA <laughs> monitor or something like that. <laughs> there is just like I want to see it follows because it's just like the idea of something that is just moving Constant. towards you. It will never sleep. It will oh, never stop. Fuck. We got you have do to poop. It follows. You have to stop for gas. You have to sleep. That's why Freddy sucks. It follows sucks and Samara sucks. Yeah, four man. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What's, so. Can I ask quickly, what's a five for you guys? Well, I mean... Uh, I think I gave Silence of the Lambs a five. Crazy. Maybe not. Uh, I think my only five would probably be The Exorcist. Mm. Um, and, like, even now, it, it's one of those where, like, I wouldn't rate it a five to, like, if I saw it for the first time today, probably. Uh, but because I watched it when I was a kid, it's so fucking ingrained in my head yeah. uh, that I just, like, yeah, it absolutely terrified me. That's one of the only movies I've ever seen where just, like, for years of my life, well into adulthood, I was just, like, seeing images from it as I was yeah. falling asleep. And just, like, I was like, well, I'm just not sleeping tonight. Like, that's just in my head now. Then I, then I guess Jaws is my scariest movie. It's because yeah. yeah, that affects you anytime you go swimming. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Mine is essentially anytime someone's in a, like a torture chair getting cut on. So like anybody yeah. just like implements opening up bodies. I don't understand why um, human centipede exists. I just watched that Key and Peele sketch where they're like the guys who used to be in a human centipede and they like run into each, each other at a cafe and they're like, hey man, you were number three, you were in the back. And even watching that, I'm like, this is funny, but I also don't like this because I have to think about people being sewn together. So just like none of that. The barbarism of man is my fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Katie, the horrors of war. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Iraq. Have you seen life? <laughs> With Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence? No. <laughs> no, I mean, there absolutely are more horrifying things than everything we've talked about. Oh, yeah, are sure, happening sure. on this earth right now. We don't talk about those. <laughs> yeah, this is a comedy podcast. I, it was funny. On my, when I was pulling up here, I learned about one, uh, there was a, a murder victim found, and they ended up identifying her because she was an extra in Jaws. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, isn't that wow. fun? That's a fun Wild. fact, just because so, you just said anyway, Jaws. if you guys get that SAG card, if you want to, if you, wanna, <laughs> if you don't want to die. Stay safe, get that SAG card. If you want to go into those uh, potter's fields or whatever, <laughs> they dump un unnamed women. I don't know. If you, if you want to be remembered when you die, you have to go into entertainment. Yeah, show business is your only option. <laughs> hey, on that note, let's do some plugs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Katie, tell us about the... All the shows that you're doing. 
Um, well, the main <laughs> thing, uh, Stephen, that I would want your listeners to come to uh, is um, doing a sketch show uh, uh-huh. called Martini Ranch Hidden Valley. Love it. Uh, and it's going to be running for, I think, seven weeks starting right after this comes out. So Saturdays at 7 through September 29th. Uh, so that'll be a really and good people time. People can get Please more come. info about that on y'all's Facebook page, I assume. Yeah, on yeah. the Martini Ranch Facebook page or at coldtowntheater.com. Perfect. Nice. What about you two, babies? Uh, Pendulum, as always. Uh, Pendulum, we got a show coming out as you're listening to this episode. It'll be the Thursday, uh, August 16th, I believe, um, at 10 p.m. at Cold Town Theater, as we do every third Thursday of every month. Uh, so come check that out. Uh, we also have a show the following week, a pendulum show on August twenty third, I believe. That's right. Uh, exactly. At Fallout Theater, um, that's going to be a cool one too. So come check that out. That's at eight p.m. Cool. Uh, Want to plug that rose? The rose. Uh, <laughs> The the Rose improvised Bachelor Bachelorette every Saturday at eight thirty, and uh, also at Cold Town. Also at Cold Town. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Cool. So, and then you can find uh, everything for this podcast at We Are Deaf Afraid on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then now at uh, We Are Deaf Afraid dot com. Uh, that's it. Thank you for coming, Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming.